Well, he would like to t tell you he started syndication. He, he actually started in syndication, and, and particularly in the area of documentaries. Yeah. Um, I think David went out on the road when he was 19 with, with uh, whatever show it was. That's how I met David, as a matter of fact, was when we couldn't, we couldn't get uh, his first show called Race for Space on a network because it wasn't produced by a network uh, news department. And in those days, they had this hard and fast rule. And David, who had been out on the road selling, I don't know, just junk. Now, we wouldn't think of it as junk today. I'm sure he didn't think of it as junk then. But old movies and stuff he'd been able to get his hands on. Uh, he was always very entrepreneurial. And, and, and he, he knew so many station managers that he had actually called on. He, he used to drive around the whole country, I think. And he was just a, a kid. Um, he, uh, he, caught, he, he said, well, all right, I'm, I can't get it on a network. And he had this footage, Russian footage, that somehow he had obtained that nobody else had of their space program. And uh, he got on the phone and sold it to, I think, 120 stations just because he knew them all. And that, and that, that was the first ad hoc sort of syndicated network in that, in that sense. Uh, first run syndication, I guess. There was, there was syndication and then there was the thing, that, that's probably what you're thinking of. That, that was as, probably as early as anyone ever sold a, a never before seen show to a bunch of stations.